Hey everybody, welcome back to my 7 Days to Die series, Surviving Alpha 18. So we did a few things last night, and when we left off the last episode, we were getting some iron going. So it is day 3 now with this build, and we have iron tools, we got an iron reinforced club, we got our iron spear, iron pickaxe, iron fire axe, iron shovel, we got two repair kits to repair them with, we got a wrench, which is awesome. I just made some storage containers last night, I'm just going to throw them in here for now. Um, with the nails and stuff that we had found. Uh, I'm going to take my glass jars today. We're going to head off to the trader. I made uh, some bacon and eggs and red tea last night. So we've got something to drink and something to eat today. And um, we're going to head out and hopefully we'll do a quest today. Um, I was going to raid some of the buildings next door, but I think it might be fun to go off and do a quest. We need to get some more um, jars of water anyway. So, and I should have marked that trader on the map. Let's have a look here. He's down here. And if I remember correctly, let's do... Uh, Save the waypoint. Oh, did they add something here? No, I guess they didn't. So this is Trader, and it's got a mixer. So we'll just do that so we know where it is. I'm going to head down there today, get a quest from him, uh, see what he's got down there. Now, we do have a couple of coins. We might as well take them with us. Now, we do have some stuff I think we can sell. Let's sell this AK. Let's sell the hunting rifle. Uh, the stun baton I think we're going to sell. Uh, the hooded sweatshirt, casino tokens, brass or iron knuckles. How much are these worth? 94. Let's sell them. Uh, we want to hang on to this guy. Uh, what else can we sell here? I mean, I could sell the gas because we're going to find lots of this, right? Um, yeah, let's sell that. want to hang on to the brass. We want to hang on to wire tool. We want to hang on to the extra wrench is worth seven. I could melt that for more. Um, pistol. I'm wondering. You know what? Let's take the pistol and the am pistol ammo with us. We don't need the fibers on us. And let's put that down here. Uh, yeah, like that carrying a lot of weapons on our toolbar here but I think we need them now um, yeah we'll go that route I'm gonna keep the pistol on so when you find weapons now they're they're on they're not loaded so you gotta load them so yeah anyway let's go let's go off to that trader and uh, where are we going this way that way all right all right So hopefully we can find something to kill along the way in order for, to get some food and not do very much looting. Look at, they've had things like this, which I thought, I thought were really great. Like just little playgrounds, like little bits like this really add a lot of aesthetics to the game. Uh, little POIs like this one here. Is there water in here? There isn't. Um, but little fountains, things like this add a lot of aesthetics to the game, which I think are great. They've got a lot of new broken houses here. Let's check out what's in this one. Anything? Yeah, not a lot. Be enough to start with, though. I wonder what's up there. Oh, a gun bag. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. Yeah, it's nice having iron tools this early. And the thing is, is, I don't see why not, right? They were gated before, so you had to kind of find them. Come on, be something good. Well, there's that iron club we wanted. <laughs> Some shotgun rounds. Uh, uh, I guess we can sell this. How much is it worth? 11. Ah, well. I could melt it down or just break it down. Let's take this for the wood. Scrap it. We're doing okay resources wise. Let's head off this direction. Some of the texture changes I'm not big on, like this one here. Uh, this is the rubble. Not really big on the texture change for this. I, I gotta say the other one was better. This the the big blockiness of this makes it look fake. The other ones were like smaller, uh, and while the texture itself, um, when you spread it across a large area, um, got really repetitive, I still think it looked better than that. That's the right color, I think, but the big the largeness of the blocks and everything on it just make it look fake and weird. But that's just my two cents. What do I know? Is that Mo? What's up, Mo? Get the iron spear out. 
Oh, did you take that through the... Oh, almost like right through the mouth, buddy. Double neck shot. And one more. Oh, two more. Three more. Four more. You're a tank, buddy. You're a tank. Got no stamina left here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Ow. I got no stamina. I want you to hear the bonk sound now. Oh. I like the new sound that they've added for the uh, metal bat. It's like a almost like a baseball bat hitting a baseball. Well, a metal baseball bat, that is. There's our favorite base. Oh, what's up? Another candidate over here. Come here, experience. I mean, guy. Ooh, got a bit of a belly ache. Good night. Say good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Gotta watch my food level here. The two bacon and eggs should last us through the day. Okay, blueberry seeds are ready. Nice. Take that. And some iron. Uh, we want to hit this up. Let's do it. All right, so once you've cleared away the 4x4 section beneath the block, there's like one block right here. And this one goes down in the vein. So you can just dig straight down right here. There you go. Just keep going straight down if you want to. There's all your iron. Makes mining so much easier. Kind of agree with this change, because this game really isn't Minecraft, right? You don't want to be spending forever mining. And I totally get that. I don't mind it. I mean, I don't mind being in tunnels underground mining. But if you don't have to be, you know, it's fine. Just want to grab a bit more clay here as well. All right, let's move on. We need to get water. Um, 6.45. Trader's open. Hopefully we can find a mission that's in the town. Like in our town. And then uh, we can drop all this crap off that we have extra at home before we go and do it. And then we'll go back to the trader either tomorrow or depending on how fast it is, we can go back today. But we're going to need to get a bicycle, I think, sooner rather than later. Okay, I got another candidate. What's up, buddy? Skate punk. Oh! How did that miss? Going down. All right, cool. Nice. Okay, here's the water. They did. A, I think the the water now is look, looks looking pretty cool. I gotta say. And you can dig up like. So this is. Yeah, I see how there's water under here. So there's like a water table, right? you can find water under the water table here, which is really cool. I think that's really cool. So if you find a mud flat with no water and you, and you start to dig in it, um, the water level will give you some water, which I think is, is really, really cool. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, man, dude. Sucks to be you, buddy. Ouch. All right. Well, we got another one over here. I wonder if those dogs are still here now that we're actually armed and have some armor on. Oh, I missed. That was kind of obvious. Shoot. Leaving myself open for bird attack here. All right, where'd my spear go? Right there. Right there! Ooh, loot bag. Ooh, flashlight. Okay. wonder what it's going to take to make a uh, mining helmet now. 
I know you can probably get a uh, a perk for that. Oh, meat. There we go. Got my bone shiv, right? I do. Okay, there's enough for two more bacon and eggs. So if I use two up today, there's two back. Yeah, man, we got to get home. But we're selling a bunch of this stuff off, so... Alright, let's see what Jen's got for us. What's up, Jen? Well, how do you do, friend? You think they would have fixed the, the voice on this, but whatever. Maybe this is supposed to be this way. Um, may I see your inventory? Wow, that's it, eh? Well, let's hang on to the flashlight just in case we can make the uh, the light sooner rather than later. All right, um, not a lot. How much do we have? One eighty-seven. All right. Safe travels. No, I need to see if you got any jobs. Buried supplies, two hundred eighty-eight point two meters. Admired. God bless you. We'll take that and one. Oh, just over there. So the good thing about the buried supplies quest, they're relatively easy to do, but um, because you can make cement so much so much easier now, um, it's it's nice to take these, especially in the desert, because you can pick up a lot of sand this way, uh, get a bit of clay at the same time, but then with any cement that you have, you can just take your stone and cement and go and get yourself uh, go and get yourself some concrete. One of the things they do have to examine, though, with these new quests, is that, um... Whew, is that, uh, sometimes I had a, um... When I was just playing around, I had a quest to do a, uh... Um... Kill zombies. And it was one of those ones that's, like, from the Crazy J Clan or whatever, those little missions that you find. And it spawned on the side of a cliff, a big sand cliff. I had to dig my way up there because it was a sheer cliff. <laughs> Give me that back. Good night. All right. Uh, we're almost there. Nice. Yeah, so it spawned on the side of a sheer cliff. And because zombies can damage each other, you know what ended up happening? I was fighting three military zombies and um, another zombie, random zombie, showed up and I was fighting the military zombies throwing spears um, and shooting with the bow because I didn't want to get close, right? Because they're hard to kill sometimes. Anyway, what ended up happening was uh, I had a guy almost dead and uh, that random zombie that spawned uh, ended up hitting him from behind and killing him on me. So then I, I couldn't kill, I couldn't complete the quest. So I had to go find a place with a, with uh, with military zombies in it to be able to kill another one to finish it off. There you are. What do we got for us? Ah, a bunch of food. Oh, coffee bean recipe. Let's use that. Take this. Yeah, let's go back. Oh, we got zombies showing up now too. Oh, there you are. Yeah, the spear doesn't do a lot of damage just by poking them, as you can tell. It takes quite a while to kill them, but it does have reach, which is the great thing about it. Oh, man. Really? Ow. So the spear works great if you actually hit your target. If you don't hit your target, well... Doesn't work that great. Let's take this stuff back. Oh my god, I just found mushroom spores. Nice. Because you can't actually make see mushroom seeds until like later in uh, in um, in the uh, seed making tree. Just kind of sad, like vegetables and vegetables and fruits. You need to have um, uh, level three and living off the land, 
which I think requires you to have four or five, I think it's five in uh, Fortitude or whatever it is that's under, which is like a lot, right? Because I mean, let's face it, early in the game, you don't want to be spending the points on that. So the more recipes you can find like that earlier on, or the more seeds you can find earlier on that you can just plant and not have to worry about making seeds, it's like way better. And I really should go in there. But I'm overloaded right now, so. We'll do it one day when we got the bicycle. Once we get the bicycle, when we come back out here, we'll do it. All right, what do you got for us? Hello, traveler. Leather chest armor or 13 first aid bandages? Well, that's a no-brainer. Um, fetch quest, eh? More buried supplies, 400 meters. I've got just the task for you. Come on, be towards my house. God bless you. And it is, and too. good luck. Okay, we're going to go do this. If we got time to come back, we will. But if we don't, we'll just head home, drop everything off and then come back tomorrow. There's no other quest that I want to do there today, so that's fine. Find the supplies. Let's just hope it's not up in the, those cliffs. Mr. Zamboni, what are you up to? A whole lot of dying, it looks like. And this isn't loaded. I want to get close to him until he's down. I'm moving too slow for that. So the feathers get a lot less feathers from birds nests now and their birds nests seem to be a lot less common there's probably about I don't know if I had to guess it feels like there's about half as many birds nests as there used to be Ooh, that'll keep me cool so let's put that on for now I don't mean cool as in like you know walking around, hey, you look cool. I mean, cool as in not being hot. Because Lord knows I could never be cool. Dun, 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 dun. My God, it's taking forever. Another zombie. The Boyd's Nest. That's only 100 more meters. Yeah, we're going to go home after this. We'll hit up one of the buildings around us. Oh, she's just coming down to the water hole. Coming down for a drink? Is that what you were doing? Looks like what it looked like you were doing. This should give zombies an aversion to water. Boom! How's that? You liking that? How about this one? Nope. I guess she's not liking that one. Yeah, the only thing that's going to make these spears more challenging is to get more zombies with, with their upper bodies bobbling. So it makes it hard to hit their head. And the speed. When zombies are fast, the spear is basically useless. Don't need glass. Yeah, I think we're going up in the hills. Now, I haven't encountered a mountain lion yet, but apparently there's mountain lions too now. I don't know if they're just like up in hills or where they are, but... I've been in plenty of hills and haven't encountered them, so maybe they're later game mobs? I don't know. Nearby. Well, let's get to work. There it is. Wow, all that digging. Look at this. It's right here in the wall. Blackstrap coffee. What's that? Mushroom sports sea recipe. Uh, really? Blackstrap coffee, eh? Alright. Well, we're... Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. Zombies show up. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh! Whoa! This is our maximum speed. Run for it! There's a bird circling, too. 
Run for your life! Run for your life! See, this is sand or dirt. Wish it was stone, but it's not. Looks great, though. All right, let's get home. Drop all this shiz off. Then we'll hit up a POI next to our house. We got some time. I'm not taking this guy on. If we were going to level, it's worth it, but... Shit, he's going to catch me no matter what I do here. No, he's not. No, he's not. Man, we are starving. Oh. I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, nothing. All right, we're back home. Bit of a walk. We've got a zombie over here, but we're okay. Oh, we got a boar here, too. Are you enjoying that? Probably not. Let's get up here. Um, I'm going to kill this boar, too. But we can't do it from down here. Well, he got up there. Damn, dude. Boar's got game. Alright, buddy. Mono a Borno. So even with the bonus, there's three arrows. Four arrows. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. Alright, let's jump down there and get this guy. Got all four back. Now we used to get 32 or 35 from him. We got 30 off him that time, so it's not too bad either. Alright, let's get up here. Should be able to just... I do it this way? Ooh! Pick up all my frames. Okay, we're going to put this stuff away, and I'm going to head right back out again. Hopefully we have enough room here for everything. All right, there we go. Just threw it all in there for now. Let's get back out here. Ooh, what do we got? Dude, right here. Come on over here. Throat shot. That took his head clean off. All right, um, I don't think I want to do this. That's basically a repetitive apartment building. The build, uh, All the floors are all the same going all the way up. Different zombies on every floor. You can find different loot, but let's set up something that's going to be interesting. Maybe like this building over here. It's like what? Almost, it's like 4 o'clock almost. So we got like 8 hours before the sun goes down, or 6 hours, I guess. We looted this whole room here. So we need to go up that way. Oh yeah, you can craft sandbags now, eh? You're gonna make me go down and get you, aren't you? Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, sorry guys, I need the feathers. I mean, I don't need them, but because we got a 30-day respawn for everything, it's going to be uh, a while before we're able to get more feathers because we're going to have to start searching out of, out of town. Okay, let's do this. Red tea first. Gives me a little buff down here. Better digestion. Now, I have no idea what that does. But I got a tendency to want to eat first. Eat first and then ask questions later. Uh, is this going to hold up? Oh, I don't trust this. There we go. Oh, I missed. He 
somehow stuck. There you go, buddy. Good night. They change what's on these too. It's like plastic and paper now. Used to be able to get machine parts and stuff out of these. Which I kind of agree with because you think like they have like small appliances or stuff in them. And that's why you would get that. Kind of made sense. Loot first. In case we need to run away. Not going to hit any of these doors until we have to. Alright, let's see what we got. Want us to go out the window, do they? Thought I saw a bird there for a second. Ooh. Could just loot that, but... Oh, come on. down. Why is he not going down? That was dumb of me just to stand there. How come I'm not hitting him? What the hell, man? You can see how these guys can be dangerous in close quarters. Especially when you got a moron like me trying to actually kill them. Oh, man. Always going to take the bandages from now on. Only reason why we're doing quests is to get bandages. Well, since he's gone... Break in here. I hate that. Ooh, six rounds, we'll take this. Ah, nice, I got my thing back. Got my thing back, guys. You know the thing. Oh, man. Well, since nobody heard me. What do we got here? Some soup stock. Let's take this. Check this. Cigar, really? Plus one strength, plus 10% bartering? Yeah, man, I'll wear that. You got that right. I'm not going to wrench this. I'm just going to knock it apart for now. Anything behind here? Nothing. Nothing. I swear to God, I hear a bird flying here somewhere. Ooh. Looks like we're clear. Ooh, purple cowboy hat. I long to be a purple cowboy. Scrap that. Um, I'm going to eat the beef ration, but we don't need to.
stay very, very quiet. I should probably repair this first. Come on. Oh, there's that damn bird. Really? Jesus. Stamina use is just getting ridiculous now. This guy's still boring my spear. Ooh, see ya. Thank you. Nope. What the? See ya. Oh man, really? Let's use one of these guys. Where is our bone shiv? I knew I heard a bird flying around up here. I don't know if we activated him when we came up here, or I think we activated him on the like when we were going from window to window. And he went up above the house rather than coming down. Oh man, really? Hold that, will you? Okay, now is this wood? Yes. It's not close enough to the, uh, oh. You can do it this way. Nice. Except, can't get in there. Whoop. See if we can finish this guy up before going down. Give him a bit of acupuncture here. Somebody told me you had a sore back. I just came over to help you fix it. Huh. He seems a lot more relaxed now, so maybe the acupuncture worked? What do you think? Eh, maybe not. That's a lot of landmines. Weird thing is, is he seemed to know not to go into the landmines. Oh, nine. Nice. Well, at least this round, it, no, it needs, it needs, I, I know I'm, <laughs> the game needs and knows that I'm going to need a lot of healing. It's trying to prevent me from dying here. Just taking the tin cans because uh, you get more metal out of them when you melt them. All right, let's see what we got down here. Well, that was a rabbit. Silly rep. There's an open door. Oh, this is where we came in. Oh. Right. Derp. Let's take this rabbit. Okay, cool. Now that we know we can get in and out of here fast. Because we are weighed down. Let's see what else we got in here. Upstairs is clear. Uh, see? I don't know how we missed that. I used to panic before with the zombies. Now I just take being hit. It's just par for the course. Oops, I don't want to equip that. <laughs> I 
Oh. oh, more leather. Okay. Let's just grab the leather and run. Oh, really? So the experience for killing zombies is a lot less now, too. So it's like, you know, they've slowed the leveling system, which I don't mind. The fact that you can actually get uh, and raise up skills without even having to worry about uh, levels, I think is great. And the, the slower the level system, or the slower level system, is just fine in my book. What do we got in here? Military fiber schematic. Yes, please. Okay, we're going to bug out of here now. Because we are overloaded. And I don't want to get snuck up on and killed. I don't think there's anything else here. We should probably check behind all this stuff. Alright, well, no big deal. Our house is uh, that way. I'm going to chop a few trees here before we head back. So I'm thinking the makers of Seven Days to Die must have watched a lot of the Red Green shows. If you've never seen Red Green, it's a Canadian icon, uh, superb handyman. Um, his um, philosophy is if you're fixing stuff with duct tape and it doesn't work, then you never used enough duct tape. It seems that this game now is like reliant on a lot of duct tape, so. And that's just fine by me. Because as Canadians, we use a lot of duct tape for just about anything. Got a broken leg? Duct tape it. Car's not working? Duct tape it. Got a bad lug nut in a tire? You can't replace the tire? Just duct tape another tire to it. Works just fine to get you to the gas station. Okay, let's try and get up this way. I'm going to have to definitely get a better system here. Uh, let's scrap this while we're doing this. Uh, where's my frames? Here we go. Right, and then we go one, two, three. Beautiful. All right, guys, I am going to end the episode here. I'm going to do some searching. I'm going to search the storage. Get some more uh, metal cooking. If we can make some band-aids, we're going to do that. I don't think we can, though. Um, figure out what to do with the skill points. And, you know, I'm going to clear a bit more of this up here. I cleared a bit of this last night to get some metal. I'll clear all this tonight. Probably clear these out. These, I think, have got like 2,500 hit points or something. 10,000. So we're not going to be moving these anytime soon. Uh, but I'll clear all these out because these have 300. So we'll clear all this out, get it all open up here, and then we'll work on um, making a house. I like this little thing here. I wish you could, for the lights that don't work, I wish you could hook just hook them up to generators and have them turn on. That would be kind of cool, I think. Um, but we've got, like, lots of space up here to do some stuff with, for working on a horde base with. Um, I might have to take down the awnings around the outside. Um, so that if the zombies are down there, we can see down. But I think that's what we'll do is we'll make this our horde base and our house. I don't think the zombies, even on the on the horde day, they'll knock this down. What we'll do is we'll have a big open area, one level down from this, that we can see down into the actual diner. We can just drop Molotovs and bombs in on them. We'll do that with this one, I think. So I was planning on doing that with the, with uh, from the ashes, but uh, we never did got a chance. To did get a chance to finish that series, so that's what I'll go ahead and do. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, well, we'll see you all later.